Ashley, you are chasing the man that some call the Australian Hugh Hefner. What do you got? He is quite the man, Bill. First, I have Casey. Hi, Casey. How are you? How are you? I'm fabulous. And this is Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the luxurious presidential suite at the Plaza Hotel in Manhattan, along Central Park, is where I met multimillionaire, the Candyman, and the Australian Hugh Hefner, who travels the world with quite the entourage. This is Nisha, my girlfriend, Tasha, my wife, Laura, my girlfriend, Casey, my girlfriend, and Frankie, my girlfriend. Yes, four girlfriends and his wife, Tasha. I think she quite likes it for the fact that um, there's other girls helping her. Deal um, with him. Coping. <laughs> the Australian Hugh Hefner has a similar mansion to Hugh Hefner called the Candy Shop Mansion, where he's known for throwing what he calls the best parties in all of Australia. And he owns the company Free Choice, in which he sells tobacco and other related products. But I thought I'd shed some light and read the Ten Commandments. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I paused when it came to thou shall not commit adultery and asked him. You like brought a copy and you read it? Oh, I have my Bible on my cell phone. <laughs> I just have to read a little bit of the Bible's rules. Sure. And it goes, keep the Sabbath day holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. I think times have changed. I mean, the, and the example I use is same-sex marriage. I mean, if you want to compare the Bible to same-sex marriage, I think society is turning. They're comparing me to Hugh Hefner today, but, you know, what Hugh did 50 plus years ago is completely different because society has changed. Now, I did have to ask his opinion on what came to mind when he heard the lewd comments Donald Trump has made towards women. It's a really disappointing um, um, audio tape because I was uh, uh, probably a, a in favor of Trump, but I think what he said was really out of line. I mean, I have a lot of fun with girls, but I've never ever said something like that. First off, if you want advice on the Ten Commandments, go to a priest, don't go to this guy, but I'm not gonna, you know, put him down. This guy's a playboy, play on, play us. <laughs> Whenever I hear stories of a man with a wife and girlfriends on the side, I always think of what my dad always says, which is, why would you want to have to deal with more than one? 